show us the edge. Yes. The chip on the shoulders, the fight and the passion that comes from within. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. on every level. Yeah. yeah. Expectations high. Gotta show them you can fly. Oh, oh, oh. Play harder, better, smarter. Baby, put the league on notice. Mm -hmm. Show me the edge. great job in the first half of making us take tough shots, um, contesting, crashing the glass. And then we, we picked it up as the game progressed, but it was really just stay with what we're doing. We missed some easy open shots. We come out in the second half, we're, we're making those shots and, and setting our defense. And so it looks a lot better. Seeing Trey step up like he did tonight, how important is that as far as growth and maturity for where the squad wants to end up? It's extremely important. Um, Trey has done a tremendous job stepping in and becoming a starter. This is his second year in a row, being able to step in and fill that role. And um, we rely on him and his shot making makes it difficult for teams to help off CJ, help off Zion. And when B.I.'s back, same thing. I interviewed Trey post game and he said one thing that he feels like is working so well is that the team has found a new a new source of joy when they play, even when they're losing. And it sounded just like you. How have you instilled that in this squad? Because it's easier said than done, I'm sure. Well, it, it's uh, having perspective. And, you know, we, we had that tough stretch at home where we, we had some losses. And uh, just evaluating our team, my message to them was perspective is that this is NBA adversity. And let's not make this as hev heavier than it needs to be. It's basketball. So let's go out. Let's play with joy. Let's compete. Let's have fun. Let's share the ball. Shoot the ball when you're open. And, um, you know, the team has responded. So we want to continue to pile up as many wins as we can coming down with the last three. Really, with uh, three games to go, you, got, you guys control your own destiny to get to the playoffs. I mean, after – you know, all that's happened in the last week, do you look at that and it's like, okay, this is this is kind of all we can ask for right now or how do you just feel about that? For sure. That's it. That's definitely in the back of our minds. But in the forefront is let's get to Sacramento and get prepared to play one game and continue to pour it all out on the floor, uh, have, have enjoy doing it, and then let's see where we are. But is, I'm, I'm sure our guys are looking – you know, we're talking about it, but once again, I don't want to make that more than what it needs to be. Is really just focus on the next game in front of us. Yeah, and with tonight's game, how much um, of the success tonight was turning them over, getting out of running it, and scoring on a break? Yeah, that was a big part of it. Um, they had 23 turnovers, so we were able to score 33 points off their turnovers, which was huge for us. We didn't have a great shooting night, uh, but we competed, we rebounded the ball, we shared the ball, and then we got on transition and got easy buckets. Yeah, like you said, y'all didn't shoot it that well as a team, but when teams are trying to zone y'all up, how much is the mindset is like, just get Trey into an open space and let's just get him the opportunity to get some shots? Yeah, we work at it. We work at teams zoning us, trying to slow us down, trying to break our rhythm. And uh, we got multiple options on the floor with Trey, with CJ, putting the ball in Zion's hands in the middle of the zone, Herb. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully we can get B.I. back. And he's, he's another guy that, 
um, will be difficult to to match us in zones. Yeah, and CJ's just been scoring the ball really well consistently for a good little stretch here. What are you seeing, just what he's been able to do on offense, you know, whether Z's in, B.I.'s in, regardless being able to get to his shots? Yeah, CJ's been great, and we've needed his performances that he's had the last few games. It's, it's, it's that time of year where you have to step up and play big, and CJ's he's played in these moments, so he understands, you know, the moment that we're in right now, and, and he's going after it. CJ had a, a tough second half shooting the ball against the Spurs. I mean, you know, he's made out of a career out of bouncing back. What do you think allows him to just turn the page like that? Experience. He's he's been there before. He's one of our leaders in the locker room, on and off the floor, and he knows that. Okay, I can have a tough night. I can go back, watch film, regroup, come back, and be better. And he he's been dominant the last few games. Yeah, we talked about JV pregame. It seemed like in the second half, you really just wanted to lean into him in that third quarter. What, what was kind of the game plan? Just going to him and keeping him in there for that third quarter. We made the adjustment at halftime to try to match him up, match him up more with with uh, Aiton. Uh, bigger, can contest his shots, be physical with him, and then when they sub Aiden out, now we can go Larry or go small. And um, you know, JV had a really good game today for us, and, and we needed his production. So proud of him. He stays ready. Stays. He's he's a professional, and um, it was good to see him. You know, have some some meaningful minutes and an impact on this game. Thank you. All right, for all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. Much love to the fam. Appreciate y'all being in this episode of Pelican Post Game Report. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and by all means, feel free to share the show on your social media feed. The Pels stop the Blazers 110 to 100. Started off sloppy. They finished strong, strong third quarter. Pelicans put up 35 in that. You heard Willie talk about the off shooting night. We're going to cover the team stats, individual stats, and get you guys ready for the upcoming matchup against the Sacramento Kings on Thursday. And then, of course, they have the Friday matchup. All that we'll handle later on. But anyway, shout out to the fam. I'm Big Q in this episode of the Pelican Post Game Report. We appreciate the flock stand with us, stand up with us late in this thing as we get ready to talk some pale basketball. So we're going to bring in Lex. Lex, how you doing tonight, Queen? What's up, Big Q? How you doing, doing? doing good, doing good. Uh, we have switched things. We've we've kind of inverted that energy, the losing energy that the Pelicans had uh, at home. We've broken that on the road, like you know, like we've expected. The Pelicans responded well, beating the Suns, beating the Blazers, not in ideal fashion, putting on a better second half in the matchup. Um, we pushed through, got it. Now we kind of take a couple of days to get ready. For the Sacramento Kings matchup, the Pelicans currently are sitting in the sixth spot in the Western Conference. That's because the Suns, the Kings, and the Lakers, especially the Suns we're looking at, but all three of those teams, the Suns, Kings, and Lakers all lost tonight. And of course, the Lakers lost to the Warriors. So they're no threat to us currently. Uh, well, right now, until we get to them to knock them off. But anyway, Pelicans are back in the playoffs. That's mm -hmm. the major thing. Yes. So yeah. next, I'm open up before we hit the end of the uh, stats. Uh, what are your early impressions about the game tonight? The Pelicans don't ever need to play at home. <laughs> just just play away, play away from home because there's so much success when they play away. <laughs> As you were talking, that's just all what I was thinking. Like they just need to get away. They just need to get away, man. Um, you know, great things happen when, the, when, when they play on the road, man, henceforth, you know, uh, the record, um, their away re record is, you know, it's good stuff. So maybe we don't need home court advantage. You know what I mean? Maybe we were just looking at it all wrong. We just need to have a shoe in, in the playoffs, but, um, yeah, this was, um, I mean, they were supposed to get this win. So, I mean, we're not going to jump up and down and 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 celebrate. I think the game against the Suns was like a more of a statement game and things of that nature. But that's not to say that this game was not important. I mean, just according to you know 
the record and where everybody is, you know, we knew that Portland was not going to do anything with this win. So the Pelicans might as well win it. I mean, it's obvious. Um, I do want to, you know, give a shout out to the Suns, you know, you know, they, they really supported us on tonight, you know, so that was, um, that was really nice that they, wow, that, that first quarter was like, what, 37 to four or something? That was just yeah, a thing of beauty. <laughs> yeah, that was horrendous. Hey, no, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, Vicky. You looking at it all wrong. Okay? That's right. Okay. Come on now. All right. Don't, don't, don't pull a willy on me. <laughs> <laughs> look, you know, look, come on now. They were supporting. They right. came not to play. Okay. That's true support right there. True that support. Right. But um, yeah, um, the Pels, they they got off to a slow start. Um one thing that's one thing I really don't want them to do. Um, you know, obviously if this was a different team, you know, you don't you don't want to give a team confidence. You don't want to give a team hope. Um, so that's something that we definitely got to change when we go to Sacramento. Y'all know how, what I always say, you got to start off with energy. You got to have energy that carries throughout the whole game. Like mm. this is not about the Blazers. It's not about these other teams. This is about the Pelicans. We got to be selfish at this time. It's, it's, it's got to be about what the Pelicans do. And we need the Pelicans to get off to better starts. Because we don't want them to instill confidence or hope or, you know, hey, maybe we got a chance. No, we don't want you to have a chance. Um, they got the win, but I'm just saying, like, for future, we got to we gotta really, like, you know, nitpick. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to improve. That's what this is about, um, to address the things that uh, we want to address to get better. Um and like I said, it's not about the other team. It's about us. But uh, they did pick it up in that second half. They picked it up. Um, you know, definitely uh, Zion was on the, on the attack mode. Uh, he really got his arms out, you know, so they could, you know, call the foul. Because, you know, I guess sometimes it seems like they don't, they don't see that stuff. So, um, you know, he had his arms going, um, you know, just, uh, you know, selling it. Um, Trey Murphy, he needed a game like this. Uh, right. I always say that he is, he's the X factor because he is like, you know, he, he can, he can attack and he can shoot from the outside. And I think the outside is what everybody is on. Like we need that. We need every bit of his 16 body shooting those three pointers because it's a, it's a huge mismatch and it's, it's a huge threat. You can't leave that guy open. Um, you know, uh, I, I just I loved his activity. He does scare me when he puts the puts the um, ball down on the floor sometimes. But, you know, he makes it work. Um, he makes it work. So I'm really glad that he had a nice game. He needed he really needed a game like this because he has been struggling from outside. A CJ. Um, I expected this from CJ. I expected him mm -hmm. um, to have a great game. Right. And I said that, you know, um, you know, when we um, reviewed the Suns game, uh, anytime he plays Portland, I don't know if you all noticed, CJ always plays well. Oh, so yeah. this was a guaranteed, you know, great game for him. You know, he had a he had a solid game against the Suns, came out and played well. So that's two games going into playing the Kings. So I knew he was going to step it up because, you know, obviously, hey, you, you want to perform well against, you know, your former team. Um, that's just how it is. I mean, we see it all the time. Um, so I'm really glad that, you know, he stepped up um, and did his thing. I'm so glad that, um, you know, Willie realized that he needs to play JV more. Um, I was really pleased with that because the small ball was not really there. Um, they were getting a lot of lobs early on. But, uh, you know, uh, JV kind of, well, I mean, Aiden was already kind of heated up, but he kind of countered that. 
um, and different things. So I'm really glad that uh, he came out and started that second half with Jonas because we know he's, you know, switched up with um, Larry Nance uh, at times uh, coming into the second half. Um, the energy was okay. I really felt like just just the start of the game. I felt like they were um, they were playing down to the competition, but I get it. You know, it's a, a team like this, but you no, know, that's just one thing you just got to be careful about because again, it's not about the Blazers; it's about the Pelicans. We're trying to develop something like uh, a level of consistency, a level of playing at a high level. And that stuff tends to carry over into other games. So, no, just got to be careful about that. But I'm glad they picked it up in that second half. And they finished strong. You know, not so such a great start, but they finished strong. Sorry about that. Had some stuff in the, in the dryer. But anyway, um, yeah, got the W, man. Got the W. I'm pretty pleased with it. So, um, yeah, we just got to gotta keep growing and getting better. Right, Lex. Uh, absolutely. This was a uh, this was a like I said, this was a game that we pretty much expected the Pelicans to take part and win. Uh, like you said, uh, slow start, but they turned on the urgency in the third. The third quarter was a pretty solid quarter for the Pelicans. Uh, they kind of used that as a lunch pad to kind of uh, take possession of the game. Uh, they scored 35 while suppressing uh, Portland to 23 in the third. Uh, looking at some individual statistics before we uh, move into the preview against the Sacramento Kings, uh, Pels, uh, 36 of 87 from the field tonight for 41.4% versus the T Wolves, 40 of 85. I mean, excuse me, the Blazers, the Blazers, uh, 40 of 85, 47.1 shooting, 11 of 36 from the field for the Pelicans, almost 31%. The Blazers, a couple of shots better, uh, 34.2. Pelicans got to the foul line on the road against the Blazers and hit 27 of 29 for 93.1% from the charity strike. Mm -hmm. 29 times the Pels. They took full of, they took oh, I know you points. loving that. Oh, yeah, because that's one of the staples, Lex. 93.1%. That's what I'm talking about. That's we've been I've always we always talk about the fundamentals. Too. If, yep. you're, if you're hitting a high clip at the free throw line, taking advantage of that, you're rebounding and you're keeping your turnovers down. The Pelicans were single digit with turnovers tonight with nine. You know, plus they got a lot of points off turnovers from the very error prone trailblazers. So that was very big. Now, you know, that trend has to continue against better opponents, of course, but that's that's a cornerstone of what, what you need to build on. But anyway, foul shots from Portland tonight. They were seven of eight, not much shaking there. 47 45 of the rebound advantage goes to Portland, barely. 28 25 on the assist game goes to Portland. The Pels had 13 steals tonight. 13 steals versus three, three to two on the blocks. Portland way. We talked about the turnovers, 22 turnovers by the Wolves. I mean, I keep saying the Wolves, the Blazers. Uh, versus uh, nine by the Pelicans, man. 17 to four was the fast break, and 46 to 42 was the points in the paint battle. Uh, the top guy for us tonight was Trey Murphy. I knew at some point Trey would he would get it together. He put in 31 points tonight. He was in, in 38 minutes, nine of 17 from the field, five of 12 from downtown. He was perfect from the charity stripe, eight of eight, plus 22 for Trey. He had eight rebounds, three assists. With two steals, solid game from Trigger Trey Murphy. C.J. McCollum went back to his uh, for his uh, familiar surroundings, threw in 29 points in 34 minutes. He was 10 of 19 from the field. He was 50 percent from downtown, five of 10. He hit four of four from the charity stripe. He had plus 18 on the plus minus, three assists, five rebounds, and a couple of steals to go along with his 29 points. Zion, 22 points in 33 minutes. He was seven of 18. And then he was eight of nine from the foul line, seven boards, three assists, a steal and a block, plus 11 by Zion tonight. Herb had seven points in 38 minutes, didn't shoot the ball very well uh, from the field or from downtown. But, you know, Herb does everything else. He rebound, he had four rebounds, a couple of assists, two steals. He was plus 29 tonight uh, on the plus minus for the Pelicans to go along with those seven points. And Valachunas, uh played as well. Uh, 
in 21 minutes, Willie was able to use him against Aiton tonight. 11 points for him with eight rebounds, five assists, a couple of steals. They tried to get him going early, plus 18 from Vale on 5 of 12 shooting from the field. And then, of course, the bench. Really, before he kind of emptied much of the bench, we were kind of doing the three-player rotation. Off the bench, you seen Larry Nance with 20 minutes. He had a couple of points to go along with the four rebounds, two assists, and two steals. You had um, Jose Alvarado in 20 minutes. Uh, not much shaking with his points. He was one of six from the field or five from downtown. Offensively, wasn't there. Just chunk, chunked in two points. Dyson Daniels and just led that with 28 points, two or four from the field. He finished with four points, five assists, six rebounds, playing some defense. He was out there stealing the block for him as well. So in the end, the Pelicans get the dub over the Blazers and we push them on out of here. Three to O on the regular season series. Not much shaking there as we kind of move forward. Lex, uh, any parting uh, thoughts on this match before we kind of move on to our preview against the Sacramento Kings? Um, yeah. Uh, one thing that did stick out, um, they were, uh, I'm trying to do it from memory. Um, they offset in the rebound department and they offset in the, um, uh, in the assist department. The difference maker was, uh, the turnovers. Yes. The turnovers and the steals. Those were, uh, well, those kind of, the, they go hand in hand. Um, but yeah, those two departments, um, were really, you know, what stuck out and what really like just, I mean, we were more disciplined, we were more disciplined on the defensive end. Um, and that's what it came down to. Um, I mean, we're, we're, we're not in a, a top 10 defense for no reason, but against a team like this, you know, we were just more disciplined on defense and, you know, it, it paid me dividends you know on tonight so that was the huge difference maker there okay all right let's move into the sacramento kings matchup three games fam three games remaining in the pelicans regular season mm -hmm. and by sunday by sunday fam sunday afternoon we're gonna it will be done with the regular season all together so pelicans have the destiny of of what they're doing in their hands. And we're fortunate enough, all these other teams lost. The Suns lost to help the Pelicans out. We know they'll face off against the Clippers again. Perhaps they'll have another difficult, but they have a tough stretch at all uh, for the rest of the season. But the yeah, they have the toughest schedule in the league. That, hel that, that helps us out tremendously, but we have to take care of business. Sacramento's yeah. up next. Sacramento's been up and down. They Over the last 10 matchups, Lex, Sacramento's been five and five. They're a pretty decent team at home, but regardless of not, Pelicans have to take care of business. Now, in terms of the history between us and Sacramento, the Pelicans have beaten Sacramento four times in a row. The last time we lost to this team was back uh, uh, early April of last year. Yeah. To them, but they beat us pretty badly, 121 to 103. But since then, the Pelicans have been handling business, I mean, big time against the Sacramento Kings. So ultimately, now with that uh, in front of us, Lex, well, what do we need to do? to? What, what are your keys to victory against this team? We definitely come in with the mindset, you know, um, you know, we, we got to get this win. Um, we got to take care of business. Um, I'm not looking at those past wins. Those, those uh, definitely we've had their number, but this is a new game. We need to come in, and we know we can beat them. We, yep. we know that much. So we need to come in with the right mentality and take care of business. They are trying to win, just like they were all the other times. And so this one, this one right here, it holds a little bit more weight. It's all, excuse me. It, it holds a whole lot more weight. Um, so we definitely want to uh, take this team seriously. Because uh, they're definitely taking us seriously. And um, the first thing is you got to come in with energy. You you can't come in getting off to a slow start. You, you can't do that. We don't want to dig ourselves a hole. We don't want to give them confidence. Okay. No. Yes. So 
Well, yeah, I'm in, in agreement with you, Big Q, but I, that was Sal saying that because you know you you make a, a strong point about them hammering. We've been hammering this team over the last four uh, games, and they'll they'll have they'll be a lot more feistier, knowing that the Pelicans yeah. manhandled them. So Harrison Barnes and guy and and Sabonis and and Fox and those guys, they're gonna try. They're gonna use that to, to try to uh you know come at the Pelicans a certain kind of way. Now, we know Malik Monk's not going to be there. And he was a huge piece. Oh, yeah. Man. Huge piece. Oh, yeah. Big the bench. I mean, he was their sixth man. Right. So, I mean, we don't have to worry about him. But, you know, the thing is, we don't want uh, Fox getting hot. Uh, we don't want Sabonis, uh, you know, getting hot at all. Uh, really, I think, you know, uh, JV's going to offset him. Same thing with – um uh, Larry Nance, they seem to do very well against Sabonis. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, uh, we've, I mean, we've had games where Zion's gone, gone off on the Kings, uh, B.I.'s gone off on them, and same thing with C.J. I mean, so we, we've we really beat this team when, you know, one of, you know, those three guys have had a great game. Um, now, obviously, I don't think B.I. is going to be playing in this game. But, you know, whoever's out there, they, you know, these guys got to bring it. They got to bring it. Um, we we just, uh, like you said, we control our own destiny now. Right. There's there's no, the, we, we like, the excuses. No like, excuse. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are none. No. Okay? We, all we needed – from from the Suns was their support on one game. Guess what? We got it. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Phoenix. Let me hit the button. Okay. Lex, is that hit the button? The, the clap button. That's a, a big. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like they. Got I, ain't run, I ain't run the Will Smith uh, clip tonight because <laughs> this wasn't. Her. Yeah, this this wasn't the game. like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you know, because uh, because the thing is, I mean, we did what we were supposed to do, and 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 they did what they were supposed to do, and so now that you know, those things have, you know, synced up. Right. Okay. We we gotta we gotta do what we do. We can we can win all these games. That that's that's how I'm looking at this. I'm not looking at oh well. We might lose one. No, I want to win all of them. We need because all. Again, we're controlling, right, our right. own destiny. Mm -hmm. And if we're winning all of them, if we're going into those games with the right mindset, we we want to win all these games. We don't want to be like, oh, like as far as with the Suns, we don't want to give them a chance. Right. We don't want to support them like they supported us. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we 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 gotta we gotta come in and handle business. Come in with the energy, push pace, be disciplined on defense, um, uh, make good shots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, if the shots not falling, hey man, like get feisty, shooting shooting the uh, passing lanes and things of that nature. Win the 50 50 balls. This is about who wants it more. It's about who wants it more. So that's going to be the huge difference. Who can execute down the stretch? And hopefully this is not a close game. But if it is, hey, man, we got to, you know, we got to continue to fight to the end. You know, we can't have any, we can't have any offensive droughts or huge offensive droughts. Um we don't need any droughts as far as um, quarters or anything of that nature. But if we if we come in with the right mindset, we should get this game, man. We should get this game. We know we can beat this team. I mean, that's basically it. It's like, look, destiny's in your hand. What y'all gonna do with it? Yeah, it. Um, this is gonna be an interesting game, man. And and the, and the the reason why I say that, Lex, is because. The Pelicans right now for the regular season series for the Kings, they've beaten them four times mm -hmm. this year. The fifth That's game in the uh, right, the the fifth, and, and I'm leery of that. I'm very leery of this because no. I, I'm just saying I'm I'm a little. 
I'm a little leery of it because they, man. Either the pales understand the situation. They got, they, 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 they got to understand that, Lex, because yeah. he dominated. Listen, the closest game the Pelicans had with the Kings this year, they played mm-hmm. them four times mm-hmm. so far. This will be the fifth time. It is mm-hmm. extremely difficult to beat a team. You know, you know, you beat them four times so far, and this is the the fifth I, game. It's like, go out and go get that fifth game against a team fighting for a playoff berth. We well, destroyed them the last playoff. time by thirty three points. Welcome so, to the playoff world. It, exactly, the playoffs right there. When yeah, like, yeah, you you may play a team. You got to play them at least four times. So yeah, that that's great. That's great. Now beat them a fifth time. That's great preparation. You beat them four times. Beat them a fifth time, mm-hmm. because I mean that 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 that's I mean that that's playoff right there. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, you know what to do. You know that they, they don't have anybody to guard Zion. And really, like I said, Yonit, JV, and Nance, um, they Sabonis that that's an offset right there. It's an offset. Then you got yeah, Herb on um Yeah, on JV five. JV wakes up for Sabonis, man. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, he he That's he, that he, European he, battle right there. Right. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. Go sick on JV and look, if if JV and Sabonis both have a double double, I am perfectly fine with that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's an offset. Yes. It's like we're it it this is about exploiting the matchup. It's about a splitting matchup. It's like, yeah, we 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 got we we got a double walking double double too. And then Larry, I mean, defensively, like Larry does a very good job on Sabonis. And then Fox, Fox has been having problems, and you got to think Malik Monk is not not there. So you don't have another athletic guy who can handle the ball, attack the basket, and shoot. You don't have that guy coming off the bench. Not right. like Malik Monk, and their top shooter is 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 hurt. It, uh, what's his name? Oh, Hugh, oh Herder. Herder. Oh wow, he's out too. I, I forgot he's about him being in the year. Right. Oh, okay. Got yeah. you. Yeah. So again, if we if we're disciplined and we push pace, play like we know how to play. Um, uh, don't make a whole lot of turnovers you know, take care of the ball and just uh, push pace. We, we should do just fine, but I, I'm pretty confident. Because the thing is, you got to think, this isn't just another game for the Pelicans. Like, the Pelicans are playing for something, too. Yes. Yeah, they, they both they both have a vendetta about this game. Kings are trying to improve their position in, in, the, in the play-in. And the Pelicans are basically securing their spot in the playoffs. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. So, I mean, yeah, it's like it, it, it's equivalent. Maybe for, for the Pelicans, it's more, more important because no matter what the Kings do, they're going to be in the play-in. But that's not the same for the Pelicans. So, you know. We 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 gotta treat it like, hey, yeah, we fighting for something too. We we're fighting to stay in the playoffs, so that we don't have to, you know, gamble on trying to get into the playoffs. That that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. We got a shoe in right now. We and destiny's on our side, so you know, I I, I think I think they'll do just fine and they'll get this win. It's gonna be interesting. We got a uh, Thursday matchup, man, and then right behind that, the, the Golden State Warriors, man. It's gonna be interesting to see how it all goes, man. The, and you mentioned destiny. Uh, uh, there was a interview that happened uh, uh, on the on the uh, uh, post game uh, with uh, Vail. It was right after the end of the game on the court. And they were talking to Avell about destiny. He was talking about the fact that the Pelicans do have it in their hands, and the fact that the Suns help. Don't be surprised if the Suns lose another game. 
not necessarily to the Clippers because they could very well beat the Clippers, mm -hmm. but these this it could be another loss for the Suns. Now I did hear with Gilbert Arenas. Didn't you share that tweet, Lex? Was that the tweet that you shared about Gilbert Arenas? Uh, what he made mention of another disrespectful comment about the Pelicans uh, family base, uh, you know, saying that uh, that the Lakers and the Warriors will make the, the playoffs and all these other teams with no f uh, family basis. He said fan bases. I don't say fam fa family fan base. I say family. Uh, according, according to Willie, it is family. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan really is joy, everything. And like, man, oh, oh. when he said joy, that that man, that turns yeah, telling that us turned that, a yeah. nerve up in me, uh Big Q. Well, like, you, oh, you tell him the, you tell him you, you're hitting right. him with the, you're hitting yeah. him with the opposite energy. You're telling Willie's guys to play with violence. Yeah. <laughs> and Willie's telling them, uh uh, we're gonna play with joy. No, some <laughs> man, let me tell you something. There is no joy in the playoffs. It's nothing but violence. Okay. Uh, yes. Like if you listen to any, anybody, anybody talk about the playoffs, it, it's not, it's not compassion. It's not joy. It's not love. It's not any of that stuff. Not togetherness. Look, <laughs> try, try, I'm man, saying, like, try, I'm try like, playing Draymond Green with some joy. <laughs> <laughs> Togetherness. <laughs> okay. Like, are you Friendship. understanding me? Does that make do, that's an oxymoron, ain't it? <laughs> Thank you. Does that make oh, sense? Man. Yes. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Does does joy and Draymond, does that belong in the same sentence on the basketball court? No. <laughs> no. He in smiles a lot. Yeah, he smiles a lot, but I, I wouldn't consider that joy. I mean, he picking okay. at you. Like, mess. I, I'm I'm a need y'all like yes. So the thing is, so you can understand. Hey, we don't need joy is gonna sit this one out. So is love. So is compassion. And we gonna come in here and we gonna look. We need to get uh, you know bring out the big guns. Okay, I'm put my disclaimer. This is all according to the game, y'all. Okay, just stay focused. All right. Uh, yeah, the big guns. Okay, the knives, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grenades, all that stuff. Okay, we going to war. We going to war and we got to battle at least for four games, four out of seven games. Okay, we got to battle. Indeed. That's what Masa need to be. I'm just, that's why I have zero faith. He talking about yeah, we we play with joy tonight. No chicken head. No. I think he was no. saying they played with joy tonight. They they're very joyous after that they, they got the win. But <laughs> yes, indeed. But 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 Willie is just that's how Willie is, man. He yes, this 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 we we wasn't kidding. We talked about Willie's love doctrine, the doctrine of love. We wasn't kidding about that. As you can see, he always he he never goes in the aggressive mo emotion bag to draw anything out of that, except for the one time when he said you gotta fight. When he said you gotta fight. That's the as as aggressive as you will get from Willie Green. And occasionally he, he got he got a little chippy on the foul call. We had that on the intro coming in, you know, him being out of character for that one time. Man, that was yeah, one out of how many? Uh, <laughs> a ton of Shoot, uh, that dude is just really something. I tell you, I know this one thing. He is not my type of coach. <laughs> like, dude, look, I, I need you to be a little bit more mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just a little bit. Oh, I, 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 I think Willie might be a slick side. Deacon in the church, or uh, he, he's like, he is. A, I mean, you couldn't tell. I mean, he's a de he, yeah. I mean, he is a church deacon, a half a step or two from being a, a, a reverend in, in the church or whatnot, because he is not, he's not going to touch any aggressive. Uh, that's Amen. something you, 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 you know, I what like family, so, I have family. They to to the the Let me tell you something when it comes to basketball. <laughs> 
<laughs> the deacon title is going to sit right over here. <laughs> you know what I'm deacon saying? Basketball. They got the deacons. They the demon deacons, though. So that they're, they're, they're not the nice so version. he's a deacon deacon? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Lex, come on, where the man played college ball at? That should tell you everything. He played in Detroit, but which what was the name of the school he played? Man, for? look, it was Detroit. He, what? He does not. He man, it was Detroit he, Mercy. At his personality, man, he does not seem like he's from Detroit, man. Yeah, he look, I think about Detroit the Bad Mercy. Boys. I think about the um, uh, the Fab Five. Come on, dude. Nah. Like, I mean. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, because some of them were, are, are from Detroit, but you know, like, come on, man. I'm not seeing it. I'm not nah. seeing it. Nah, Will, Willie's is the opposite energy of that. And uh, right now, I mean, this is what he's going to utilize. But uh, right now, current on the screen, this is the uh, uh, current playoff model right now with playoffs, the play in included. As you can see, the Pelicans right now with the sixth seed. We, of course, we talked about the fact the Pelicans still have three games remaining: Kings, Warriors, and the uh, Lakers. All of which lost tonight. Pelicans, if they can keep pace, hold on, which we think they can. They got a lineup right here. They could potentially be lined up against the OKC Thunder. It's not an ideal matchup, but man, but listen, if we're healthy and playing with a with a lot of um, uh, Alexa, like Lex talks about the Pelicans' aggressive feelings. <laughs> we can get them to dial in with that in a, in a healthy Pelican roster going into the playoffs. Man, listen, they don't, it, this will be an outcome. This will be a very interesting series, man. The three to six against OKC, man. But right now, we're going to just gonna stay on course. We got the Kings ahead, followed by. Warriors and the Lakers. So we don't have long to wait to see how this would kind of iron itself out here. It's by what is it, Lex? Uh, Sunday afternoon. We're going to know exactly what's going on. So shout out to the flock. Y'all, please feel free to hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Dan is asking, y'all give a preview of who y'all looking at in the draft. That'll be coming, uh, Dan. We're probably not going to do that tonight. But uh, that that's a stream that we all do. We always do the previews and um, we do the, the 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 draft stream breakdown. We always do that. And then, of course, you know, you know, we always do the draft shows. We be we're here for several hours while the draft is going on with live reaction from us, from y'all, uh, all that kind of stuff. We've been I love the draft streams, man. When we are doing the draft streams, always cool to do the draft stream. So that'll be going down the line there uh, just to let you know, Dan. And uh, of course, you know, at that time, we'll prior to that, we'll have DC uh, back in the business. He call, I talk to him every damn day. So it's about getting them lined up at the show. Sometimes at night, he said he could pop on me here. It's, you know, oh, yeah, I don't want to get too far up in it, but, you know, it's family stuff. Let's just say that he's a private person. He don't like, uh, you know, he likes to keep his family and everything going on. But it's family. It. So there's nothing wrong with that. Y'all just have to give him a little time. You know, you know, it could uh, sometimes yeah. those communication lines yeah. all the way from the island could be quite difficult. So you guys just kind of be cool and he'll he'll be back soon enough. So he appreciate he listens to the streams and he appreciates everything. He'll pop up sooner or later. So anyway, just to get you a little check on that. But yeah, the draft streams that'll be coming down the line, my friend. As you can see, we kind of dialed in looking at what we're going to do right now for the playoffs. I think that's the most paramount thing. So big ups to that. All right, Lex, uh, uh, any uh, few comments before we get ready to kind of close out? Hmm. Well, we're in the playoffs right now. We just got to we just got to stay there. Got to stay there. <laughs> why, are you, why are you laughing, Big <laughs> Lex, okay, okay, Lex, I want you to say that with a little bit more, just a tad bit, a little bit more confidence like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, that wasn't just I was. I wasn't confident earlier. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing. Like. I, I was just, I was just, you know, chilling my head on my hand, but, uh, you know, I'm a, you know, but anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying like, you know, we got to stay in there, man. Yeah. We got to stay in there. We got to right. stay in there like we're in there, but we got to stay in there like there's there's more work to be done. You know, the thing is, like, 
like I said, we don't want to support the sons like they supported us. So, uh, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta continue to get these wins and, and that's the only way we stay up in there. Um, no, I don't really, um, yeah, we, we just gotta stay up in there. I mean, nothing else really matters. You know, we just gotta stay up in there and Yeah, these these dudes just gotta play, man. I don't even know. I mean, what else is there to say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Three, three, what three is- games. We got huh? three. We got three games left, Lex. Yep. And all of those games are winnable games for the Pelicans. They uh, are. They, have, they have to play with the, the the sense of urgency we talked about for the mm-hmm. for the Suns matchup in the second half of the of the Portland Trail Blazers matchup tonight. We have to play with this with this urgency. We have to be able to just you know keep this going as much as possible. We know we know we supposed to get BI back uh, before the regular season um ends or uh, it's what they saying. I don't know. Uh Naji Marshall is supposed to be coming back soon. So, you know, they'll have a full bevy of all their uh, you know, Naji off the bench, our second uh best scorer there and uh, option in, in BI, he'll be back as well. So it'll be a good energy to have for the Pelicans as they get ready for the playoffs. But like you said, it's uh, matchups against the Kings, matchup against the Warriors and the Lakers, who are also battling for uh, an opportunity to try to rise up into the playoff situation. They're trying to get it. It'll be interesting to see. Now, Warriors, seven of three of the last 10. The Lakers have won eight, eight of the uh, last 10 games. And like I said, we got to put the step on. Change, you know. Yeah. With the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, their their situation is definitely changing. Because you know LeBron was out with the flu, but AD yeah. he's been out. Um, shoot, I think he. They said he had like a headache. Yeah, nausea. They said he and missed nausea. Yeah. It. He's had something. Like I think he was like hitting his eye or something. And it's like, I don't know, um, what he what he's going through is kind of weird. I've I've never seen seen it to that extent. You know, guys get hit in the eye, you know, a lot, but apparently he lost his vision. Wow. A little bit. Yeah. Like, did y'all hear about that? And that yeah. was like some games ago. I was like, dang, man. It's like <laughs> somebody out there punching, <laughs> punching people while they're trying to go for a go up for a layup. But that's crazy, man. Going like just use losing your eyesight. No, and I know I know we make fun of AD as far as you know street clothes and all that stuff, but you know something like that. Like that's that's crazy, man. That that really is crazy. Uh, I've never 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 heard of that. You know, that's like going blind, basically. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, um. He he's been out, and obviously he's a key part of what they do. Um, I know they've been on a nice stretch, but one thing about if if LeBron and AD are not playing, I mean we've seen this before. Even when those two do play, they've lost a lot of a lot of games. But they also need those two guys because consistently they're gonna they're gonna bring it. I mean, really, it's been more so about the others. But right now, with either one of them playing or one of them, you know, not playing, it doesn't it doesn't help their situation. So I'm pretty I'm pretty confident about our chances of getting that regardless of, you know, who's playing or not for Sunday. Yeah, got a little time bet- between them. But yeah, fam, listen, man, 110 to 100 tonight by the Pelicans. That's two straight wins. We got three more games left to go, man. Next matchup will be Thursday night against the Sacramento Kings. We'll be in the building here covering it. And I just want to give you guys a shout out. and Thank you guys for staying up late with us. And listen, we're going to return on Thursday night. To recap the Pelicans matchup against the Sacramento Kings going to be a lively game, man. It's a very important game for everybody involved. And like Lexa uh, mentioned, we are most certainly in the playoffs, man. The playoffs has already started, man. And you can tell by the the level of intensity of 
basketball that we're witnessing here. So let's just keep this going, man. Oh, uh, and uh, let's get all these wins and get the 50, man. That's the best way to kind of keep us in that six spot, man. So keep winning and may the chips fall where they may. So anyway, with that being said, y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Feel free to share the show on your social media feeds. We're going to holler at you on the next one, man. We appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night. and We're going to see y'all on the next one. Much love and go Pals. Go Pals. Show us the edge. Yes. The chip on the shoulders, the fight and the passion that comes from within. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on every level. Yeah. yeah. Expectations high. Got to show them you can fly. Oh, oh, oh. Play harder, better, smarter. Baby, put the league on notice. Mm -hmm. Show me the edge. Everything New Orleans Saints, New Orleans Pelicans, LSU Tigers, even the top flight boxing. So if you're a who that and you're looking for a place to stay up on your team, who that daily.com is your site. The who that daily.com for the sport who that in all of us. That's right, the Pro Shop is the platform store where you can go and buy all the latest merch to support the platform. Available at the Pro Shops, we have dozens of hundreds of products available for you and your family. Unisex tees for men and women, hoodies and sweatshirts, tank tops, kids and baby items, long sleeve tees, mugs, pillows, wall art, bath bedding, face masks, phone cases, stickers, bags, fanny packs, socks, hats, and many other items. Please feel free to check out the Pro Shops. The link is in the description section below. And remember, it helps the platform continue to grow. Check out the